welcome back to my channel or if you're new and just tuning in hello and welcome there's my kitty in the background as always or almost always she's just probably gonna lay right next to me on my hip <laughs> she enjoys a cozy cuddle and so do I <laughs> so I'm gonna do a makeup video for you guys today for a Valentine's Day look I thought about a million different ideas and I just thought that this would be kind of a cute plummy look but with a little bit of a kick because it's got glitter. Um, I have a couple of different palettes that I want to use um, to get this look and it's going to be it's going to be really pretty I hope. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of the shades that I plan on using because I'm really excited to try this and see how it looks. Um, so I got all of these palettes in the last couple months. I got one from Ipsy and two from Ulta. This one came completely free. It's called Modern Dreamer. So the pigments aren't super saturated or they are, but when you swatch them, it all comes off in the one little finger swatch. But I'm hoping with the brush that'll work a little bit better. I plan on using maybe some pinks or some light purple colors to make it a plummy, a plummy look. Maybe these pinks up top that are more mauve-like. But then a twist is that I'm going to add some glitter from both the Otherworldly palette by Fluid. This glitter color purple right here and maybe the one next to it but I don't think so. I'm probably going to go for the one in here. Also, um, this uh, sparkly color as well as um, this bottom shade, which doesn't quite look like it, but it's a highlight. Um, and this highlight. Um, and it's they're beautiful. And <laughs> I did a look uh, previously that had just this palette on my eyes and it came out way better than I anticipated. The only uh, thing I would have changed is um, the eyeliner that I had. I probably would have gone with black instead of white um, for liquid eyeliner on the top lid and then the bottom I would have kept with the white. Um, so I got my idea kind of from a little bit from that as well as obviously Valentine's Day colors are like more pinks, more purples, more reds. And so I'm going with it. And since I have a glitter shade that happens to be purple, and this one is a bluish teal color, um, it's got a lot of different pigments in it that make up the one glitter, but it's also got purple in it a little bit. So I thought maybe I would use just a tad bit of that in like the transition from lighter to darker. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go light to dark top wise or bottom wise. I think I'm going to go bottom wise to the glitter um, is going to be more on my lid where you can't see it when I close my eyes. Um, just because my, my, uh, um, my lid, you can't see the lower half of it right here anyways when I open my eyes because I have hooded eyes. So I'm just going to find my brushes. Oh shoot. Where did I put my makeup bag that has all my brushes in it. Oh my gosh, it's all the way over here. You just heard my tripod um, fall in, well, one of my tripods, obviously not the one that you're on. Um, and my cat gets scared and run. Okay, so I have my makeup bag, which has my trusty um, mascara. Well, it has several mascaras in it. And then a couple of waterproof or um, just regular eyeliners, liquid eyeliners, brows. Um, there's the liquid eyeliner I want. So I'm going to put the other one back. Um, I don't believe, I do believe I have the box for my lashes. So I might need these. And then I love this. I'm actually going to put this on right now. So I have the opportunity to moisturize the crap out of my lips because they are so dry. It's winter and well sort of winter and so it's not 
very hydrated. Okay. And then I obviously need this, which I found out in the video where I bought it, or well, the video after I bought it, that it is indeed a, a primer for glitter and not glitter in it that like turns anything that's non glittery into glitter. So I'm going to need that because I'm putting glitter on my lids. I'm probably going to need my white under eye pencil. Um, I have a smaller one. I think I'm going to try it out just to see if it works um, a little bit better than this one in terms of how thick it is. And then um, I haven't decided if I also maybe want to switch it and use the... Um, the frosting color, which I haven't, yeah, I just haven't decided that yet. Um, let's see. I'm going to close the two palettes that have the colors in them. Oh, and the other palette is Dubious Place. Um, I Live, I Love Ice. It's an ice palette. It's for winter. Um, it's definitely not a traditional, um, palette for Valentine's Day, but I just loved the colors and so I had to go with it. My cat's back. She's right here in the corner. You can't see her. Um, this is like a dragon fruit. Um, yeah, it's called dragon fruit. Um, it's, it's like a lip oil, but it's very hydrating and I love it. So I need my brush for my brows. I need, what else? My brushes in general. Some of these I need to clean um, so I will finish them off. I think actually I'm going to use this one, um, the Ulta New Heights Lifting Mascara instead of Trust Geek this time around. It has a thinner brush and it just works with me better. And uh, let's see, uh, bronzer, check, Hula bronzer. I've had that for years. I probably should get rid of it and get a new one, but I don't want to pay for it. So we'll see. <laughs> And then I don't think I'll need this palette. This is a Tarte palette, also kind of a, a few years old. And then this is uh, the, Nubi the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. And I don't think I'll need any colors from that. This is another bronzer I don't think I'll need. Um, I'm just checking my bag to make sure that there's nothing that I need for this look. I am getting out all my lipsticks and kind of seeing which one I think would work the best. Let's go with that pencil. I'm just going to have all my lipsticks in front of me and we can kind of not pick one together because obviously that's not something that you can do if you're not live on the video. But um, I will kind of make up my mind based off of how the look turns out. Um, I don't need any of those. Might need this. No, I don't need that. Okay, so that is it. I can put all the rest of the stuff that I won't need back. And we can move forward. Okay. Oh, I'm also going to put a lip plumper on. Um, I haven't decided if I like this yet, but I've used it so I can't return it. I really just need my upper lip, but that's not unfortunately how. That works. <laughs> But um, this is also moisturizing, supposedly. Um, so hopefully those two will help moisturize my lips. My lips already felt pretty moisturized from the other one. And then let's see, I am going to try out the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum on my face um, that I got from Ipsy because my face is really dry in certain areas and getting a little bit patchy. I have um, some skin hair up here that I haven't been able to get rid of. Just face problems, you know? Oh, it is 
dripping down my face. It is kind of hard to do. Okay, I think that's enough. I think it only says to use like a few drops. And I think it's a pat. I should have looked before I did. Let's look now that it's kind of allow drops on the skin and allow to dry. So you're not even supposed to like rub it in. Okay, well, that's not happening. It needs to get spread out. My entire face is completely dry. Um, it, it's always been really a dry face, unfortunately. <laughs> Enjoy that from, from Despicable Me. Does this sound sound annoying? <laughs> and then Guru says, yes. I just watched this the other day. That's why it's in my mind, but <laughs> it was funny. So I was like, okay, let me just mention it. Okay. Um, so I put that on my face. That feels um, pretty good. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it does tingle a little in certain areas where my patches are revealing actual skin, like, um, underneath the skin. Uh, but as far as it killing me, obviously it's not doing that. It's not burning. It's just tingling. Like kind of like how you would when, um, you initially put like chapstick on your, um, sores on your mouth or, um, like how you would be if you, uh, what's it called? I can't think today. If you put antibiotic on a cut or alcohol on a cut, it would hurt. That's how it feels, but way more moderate. All right, so I put the primer on my eyelids. Mm, now I can't find the lid. There it is. I put the primer on my eyelids while I let the face moisturizer dry. It is fairly dry now for the most part. Then let's see. I'll do my brows. So I have a pencil and I have like an actual liquid one. We're going to start with the pencil and see if I need the um, other one. I have a mirror in the Juvia's place I live I love ice palette so I'm gonna try I'm just gonna use this because it's small and compact and easy to access and it also has some colors that I'll be using so why not see the reason I don't like using pencils is that you have to like kind of like fade it out so it doesn't look like an actual pencil stroke I like my eyes to look fairly natural. Like, obviously, they're filled to a point, but I don't go overboard or, like, over-define my eyebrows. It looks like I have, but um, that's just because I brushed it. I'm going to put some concealer on it to fix it. It's a very dark color also, so it looks different than my face when I haven't done my makeup yet. And this look I did not find on Pinterest at all. I'm just kind of winging it, you know? Um, I didn't want to have to go off of a Pinterest look this time around. I was just like, meh. Let me just find something that I like or not find something that I like. Think of something that sounds like it would be beautiful 
or a good idea to at least like try for myself to accomplish something that I haven't really done in the past before is like come up with my own stuff and like make it my own I just kind of gone off of exactly what I see in pictures and so I figured I would try to expand my horizons I'm going to use this really white shade from the dreamer palette and use that as a hopefully a like miniature concealer um because I don't want to get out my concealer really I'm gonna have to oh well okay so I have a concealer somewhere in this pack um there it is it's a mac powder concealer or it's actually technically a foundation but um I use it more as a concealer than anything it is almost gone it was a little sample that I got a long time ago and I'm just gonna use it until it's gone because why not and it matches my skin literally almost perfect every time and I can put it slightly over my brow to make it less dark also which I like because my brows aren't that dark and I don't have a brow pencil that's lighter well I do but I don't know where it is like mostly everything <laughs> I do have a liquid concealer in the pack from that I think I got from Ulta a long time ago also, but um, I, this is the first thing I found, so I went with it. I'm just going lightly over the brow to lighten it like I mentioned. That looks a lot better, but still a little funky right there. So we're just going to go over it completely. I think I need to cut a little bit of my brow off. I do have scissors in here. So uh, let me just fix that real quick. <laughs> Sorry, normally I have like the pre-work done. I just kind of came up with this on a whim. I wanted to film it a little bit before Valentine's Day so I could have it actually up on Valentine's Day. Actually, I think I'm going to go the day before so that way people can see the look. Um, maybe a few days even before so that way people can see the look if they want to and like try to find the palette if they want to have that look or the palettes and then create it themselves. Like, like I think somebody's gonna want it that badly that they're gonna go looking for it, but you know what I mean, guys. I just want it to be out before Valentine's Day for once, because normally I'll do looks and it'll be on the day of because that's when I need the look. And this time I of course don't have a date because I'm a single Pringle and so I don't need a Valentine's Day look but I do want others to see that I can do a Valentine's Day look so here we are I haven't cut my brows in a long time they needed a good cut well they need to be threaded to be honest Ow. But this is better than nothing. Because I don't want to pay to thread them right now. And I obviously can't just stop what I'm doing and go get them threaded. <laughs> I mean, I could, but that would take a long time. And then I couldn't film the video. Or at least not right now. They are like sticking to my brow they don't want to come off like what the hell lordy well that was hard okay 
Do they look all right? I think they look all right. They look a lot better. <laughs> Let me go find the same brush that I was using. Okay, it's not the same one, but oh well. And I'm just gonna go over this top section again with the concealer just to make sure that I cover everything. And I look nice. Because obviously I want people to like the look. I'm also going to cover this little spot that I have on my forehead. I have a dark part of my eye, under eye right here, from where I had a uh, cyst. So I'm just covering that up too. I don't use concealer or foundation heavily. I love that this one blends in nearly perfect to my skin. Because I don't have to do my whole face. I can just do the areas that I want to look light. my bags doesn't that look so much better I feel like it does I don't look like I have under eye bags as much obviously I do have bags and my sleep has not been the greatest so you know that clearly makes sense and I do have a couple of pimples in dry patches that I'll also lightly cover up they're not going to cover it up fully don't get me wrong this is not a miracle worker i have seen things that cover up even like tattoos and stuff but i don't have that <laughs> mm -hmm. okay i think that's as good as it's going to get so let's move on finally <laughs> that took a little longer than anticipated right I'm gonna do a highlight real quick because I have it. Oh my God, there's so much powder on the upper. How is that? Okay, we're not gonna do that because that's going to make it go flying all over. We are just going to dip in, get the excess off and swipe. That's way too much highlighter. I know guys, I am not good at the highlight game. I will fade it. Why is it stuck? This highlighter is not my favorite to work with. Um, this is also Juvia's Place. Um, it came with the ice palette. I like the color and it fits perfect for my skin too, but it all clumps at the top um, and it's apparently very hard to rub out and get everywhere. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. See that highlight game? That is the best highway game. Okay, I lied. I like it a lot, but it's just kind of hard to do um, exactly what you want with it. You know, it's kind of, you get what you get. Sorry, I'm trying to readjust. My leg is like hitting up against the wall and it's the bad leg. It's the one that's numb. And so it feels really weird. Um, of course, I mean, it feels really we weird like on the inside basically because I can't feel the outside skin at all. Um, so I'm just moving my stuff so I can readjust just a little bit. Okay, it's a lot better. Now I'm gonna do highlight, I mean, contour, sorry. I'm just doing all the basics right now. I'm gonna finish off with the eye look and then the um, lipstick at the very end. I'm 
is going to be way too much contour. But I got to make this side match the other side. I am not good at makeup, like, per se. Like, obviously, I make okay looks uh, a chunk of the time. But uh, the other part of the time, it's like, what did you do? <laughs> and then I have to, like, start all over sometimes. Um, I'm hoping to not have to do that. Because that would just be sad. But we shall see. I look like I have a face now, at least like with color, but I, it's just a lot. I've got to fix that side. Looks like I was punched. Okay. So with the concealer that I have, I can fix that, at least a little bit. So I kind of ended up going over the entire face with a little bit of concealer, um, but not a huge, a huge amount, I would say. Just kind of trying to buff everything out and make it look all right. Does that look better? Still kind of looks like I got hit by a truck on this side or hit by something. But I think that's the best we're going to get. I think up close it'll look a little bit better or maybe with a lower light. I mean, with this light, I look great. <laughs> I guess it just depends on the, the lighting of the room. Okay. I think that's about it, and we are on to the eyeballs. All right, let's go. So I'm going to need a... Let's try this white liner. I'm going to do the liner first on the under lid. Under lid, the under eye. I'm trying to decide if I want black eyeliner for the upper lid, the upper lid, uh, because I feel like it'll look cute with like a light, like a pink color, and it'll be more Valentine's Day than black. But I don't know. This is just a NYX pencil. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, that looks great. That looks awesome. I like that. It's a little tougher of a pencil than this one. Um, 
So I might go ahead and, and fill the inner lid. Now that one's a lot easier to work with. Because it goes on more like um, silky. That one's a harder pencil, this smaller one. But I still love how that looks on my eyes, even like from afar. It just makes my eyes look bigger, which that can't hurt. Um, okay, we have the palette, the big, big palette. I'm hoping that these work very well. Okay, so let's go in with a light color for the base shade up top. This is a fairly light plummy color, like not plummy color, like blush color. Kind of reminds me of the Tarte palette, uh, the, not the Tarte palette, the Tarte blush. And I did a similar look to this last year, but without glitters, which is why I'm intrigued to see the difference. So that's how that looks. Notice how I didn't do my lid, my like the, the part of my lid that's hooded and you can't tell the difference, which is why I don't think really anything has to belong there in a harsh, dark color. Um, I am actually going to use the same, um, pen, that same thing, but a lighter color underneath. I like the lighter colors on the lid because you can't really see it, but it pops it. And then a different brush. And then there's this really light pink shimmery color. None of these have names. And then I'm gonna do that on a brow. It actually just looks like a white almost highlight, but I like it. Doesn't that look sharp? I am noticing I have to pack it a lot in certain in certain areas to get it to show. But I like it. I, I like the colors. Anyways. I don't like that I have to sit there and pack it in and use a ton on the brush to get it to come out. Okay. There we are. So that's the lid without the glitter. That's just the shimmer shade. Okay. Now we move on to the glitter, which I am going to use my fingers for, but only because I really don't have anything else that would work. If I put it on a brush, it would get stuck. It's just too jelly-like. All right, I'm going to use the purple one first and see how it looks. I'm going to go up just on the corner area maybe. That's what it looks like. It's like a hollow color. I don't even know. Maybe I use it in the inner corner. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. But 
That's a beautiful color. You guys can't even see it. I'm just going to put that all over. And then I think we're going to use the blue-ish colored one underneath. Maybe. So far, I'm liking what I see. Okay. So you can't even really see it from here. So I'm going to definitely have to show you up close. But let me add a little bit of the blue. This is a blue highlight. I'm going to put it up top. I kind of want to look like an alien. I actually don't know if I need any extra help from eyeliner. Sorry, this is really quiet. I just uh, kind of got lost in the doing of it all. Okay, so that's how it looks like far. Let me see if I can get you in closer without murdering all these lipsticks. So I put a little bit of blue. Obviously the glitter has fallout. And that blue glitter barely shows up anymore because I put so much of the highlight on it. So I'm just going to fix that. Glitter is gorgeous so i'm gonna do two swatches one of the pink and one of the blue up close for you guys that's what they look like okay in the back all right so i'm just gonna rub those off let's do mascara and then determine if we need eyeliner on the lash. Sorry, there's uh, people running around outside making a lot of noise. We live in an apartment, so there's children running around sometimes, not always sometimes it's 
Sorry, I got a call in the middle of my video, so I had to pause it for a second. Obviously, you didn't see anything, but maybe a glitch. Um, but I was doing my eyes, so I'm going to finish that. I did this lid, um, the upper lash line. I got to do the bottom. Sorry, I'm very quiet when I'm doing this because I don't want to poke my eye and I don't want to mess up. Alrighty, so that is my mascara. Yeah, I don't think it needs a eyeliner. I think it's pretty well defined, but it doesn't need a lippy, so I am gonna pick one. I have a couple of red colors, but that doesn't really go. It's more of a purplish color that I'm going for. So my best options are this plum-like, um, color it actually comes out darker like than I showed like look it looks like pink here and back here it looks dark velvety um and then there's this color which looks velvety from afar and even darker from afar and it is definitely darker um I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's lighter and it looks kind of like a lighter look or maybe Actually, I think I might go for this one because it's really light and so it won't take away from the eye look and it's still pink. If it is indeed still wearable. It's not been opened in a little while. So let me just kind of shake up the color a little. almost flew across the room okay yeah I like this color let's go with it it's very light and subtle but I kind of like that I don't like things that pop heavily because it's just like one you're gonna end up not having this on in like an hour because if you're going to a dinner it's gonna come off when you start to eat something or drink something and b it takes away from the eye look and um See, you can always add glitter to it, which is, I think, what I'm going to do once it dries. No, before it dries. I think I'm going to add glitter to it just to give it a little pop. Oh, adding glitter really wasn't the best thing. It's very tacky. Okay, um, maybe just the shimmer colors in. Now let's see.
Okay. It looks all right. It's not the perfect look, but it will do. And it definitely is, I like the eye look. Um, the blue is a little much. I would go without the blue glitter and the blue shimmer, at least on the, the lid, uh, on the brow bone. It looks really nice, though. So. Um, I will come up close so you can see a good look of it. See, the glitter just didn't show up on the lips at all, but the shimmer gave it a little pop. These are the eyelids. Obviously, there's fallout. I could fix that with um, concealer, though. See, I just don't like the blue. The, it's too dark. But the pink looks great, and the uh, brow bones look fabulous. I could even go further on the brow bone. But that is the finished look. My hair is a little greasy. Um, I haven't washed it in a few days, so. I mean, I've taken a shower, but I just didn't wash the hair because it's bad for you to wash your hair every day. Like, actually, like, shampoo and condition it. So, I just didn't do that part. And now I need to. I am going to fix up the eyes just a little bit because they look weird. Especially up close. So, I'm going to use that concealer again if I can find where I flopped it. Did I put it back in the bag? Yeah, I did. I'm going to use a smaller brush, but one that's more of a packing brush. This one should do. I'm like sitting here perfecting it now at this point. I am, you know what I didn't do is give myself a little highlight on the nose. I'm putting some concealer and then I'm just gonna some right there <laughs> I look cute for, especially from afar it looks great I think it looks nice um again I have a little too much contour on this side but damn I'm snatched <laughs> um <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm feeling myself and uh, you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Let me love.